Could it be that the way that we're practicing is wrong? That's what I think. In truth, if you look at the way that a golfer tries to learn his sport against how every other athlete learns their sport, we do something totally different. We try to change things in our physical movement whilst we're trying to hit a ball. That would be like your karate master trying to teach you a block in the middle of a fight. It just won't work. So there's got to be another way. If you look at the way that a brain learns, then there's a lot of good ideas about how you should learn golf. First of all, you've got to identify what it is you want to change. And if we just take an example of a shoulder rotation, then the very first thing to actually say is, how does the shoulder rotate? Does it rotate like this or does it rotate like this? But once you've actually worked that out, the next trick is to basically isolate that movement and try and get the body to learn exactly what it's got to do to get into these positions. And that might mean understanding which muscle groups are, are used in the movement, but it might be as simple as simply carrying out a drill. The trick, however, is to carry out the same drill identically every time. That way, your brain will be able to remember it. And remembering isn't just as straightforward as you would think. To remember something, you've got to repeat it more times in a day. If I were to carry out a drill this morning and then forget about it for a couple of days, it's unlikely that I'll still know exactly how to do it in two days' time. On the contrary, if I were to just do it a couple of times this morning, again at lunchtime and again in the evening, then the following day I'll probably know exactly what to do because basically the information has been stored in my short-term memory. If I do this for a few days in a row, there's a very good chance of this information going into the middle-term memory. And that means that I might even be able to leave a day out and still remember what I'm supposed to do. If I do it even longer over weeks and months, then there'll be a point where it goes into long-term memory and I could not do it for a week and I'd still know how to actually do the drill. So the first thing you've got to understand is to isolate what movement you want to learn. The second thing you've got to understand is you've got to do that pretty intensively over the first couple of weeks in order to remember exactly how to do the drill or the movement you're wanting to do. At the same time as you're doing the exercise, your brain is working out how to do it as efficiently as possible. It's building what they call synapses in your brain, basically like a highway from the brain to the muscle and from the muscle back. And this communication way takes time to build. Now, that will not happen in a day and it won't be helped even if you're doing it two or three times a day, but it's got to be done regularly. And obviously exactly the same movement's got to be done regularly so that the brain is confronted with exactly the same movement and exactly the same problems. By repeating this movement again and again, you are actually teaching your brain to repeat the same orders to the muscles and therefore you're building muscle memory as they call it, which is really nothing other than a small program, for want of a better word, in your brain, which steers the movements required in the swing. As if that isn't enough, you're also obviously training your body itself. Your body is a lot of joints and muscles and tendons and ligaments, but as we get older, um, they stop performing the way we would like. So it's very possible that the movement you've been asked to make by your professional you're not capable of doing. This is where you've got to put more intensity into the movement. That means one repetition is maybe not enough. You've got to do several repetitions in order to get a general change in your body's ability. Because what you're going to be doing is changing the mobility of your body, the muscle strength, the muscle power, the muscle speed. And that will be done over time. By heightening the intensity of speed that you do the, the movement you'll be able to build up the muscles, but that will probably happen a bit, a bit like in a fitness studio, quicker and faster if you actually use resistance or weight during your training. So we definitely recommend you um, increasing the intensity of training to help your muscle and your body to actually learn the movement and be able to carry out the orders that it's receiving from the brain. So this is a something, this is a, a learning curve that's going to go over a number of weeks and months. It's not something that's going to go click and you can do it. 
and I really don't think it's a great idea to go onto a golf ball and hit a golf ball while you're doing this. That means you've got to be basically doing a lot of dry training without a ball, without a club even, in order to get your body capable of making the movement. And once you're able to make the movement and you're able to make the movement efficiently, then you add a golf club. Then you start making the movement with a golf club and letting your body get used to the extra forces which are applied to it when it's swinging a golf club. When it's swinging a golf club, the golf club is also trying to pull the body backwards and forwards, up and down, which is making the movement more difficult. So that has also got to be taken into account. And only when I'm able to do the movement with the golf club would I even think about approaching the golf ball. When the golf ball is there, there is no point in trying to steer the movement. What you're trying to see is whether you can actually carry out the movement that you wanted to do without thinking about it. For that, you're going to need a good solid pre-shot routine. We'll go into that on another day. But basically, when I have a golf ball in front of my feet, I'm not thinking about anything. I'm just letting the body do the work. And with the help of video or in a good teacher, I'll be able to find out whether the exercise that I've done is actually now an integral part of my golf swing.